Thinking beyond the obvious is really the heart of who GAM is. It's making sure that we look at the world and make sure that we're not just following. We're thinking about things critically, we're forming our own view, and we're coming to high conviction solutions for our clients. I think we've all seen the mega trends across climate change to consumer preferences changing. We see this as important both for how we invest in our clients and how we understand the world around us. GAM takes sustainability really seriously. The finance industry manages over $110 trillion of capital. How that asset is managed will make a big difference to collectively whether we meet our sustainability goals. Asset managers have a significant role to play in driving change. GAM is a signatory to the UN Principles for Responsible Investment and the UN Global Compact. We've also achieved carbon neutral status for our business operations and committed to net zero for 2050 for the assets that we manage on behalf of our clients. Our aim at GAM is to make sure that we deeply embed our commitment to stakeholder value in everything we do. The science is really clear. We can see that in more frequent, more extreme weather. We can also see that in the disruption that it's having to various supply chains. Following on from the landmark climate agreement in Paris in 2015, what we saw at COP26 was really a reaffirmation of the commitments by both countries and importantly the private sector in terms of delivering on the 1.5 degrees. At GAM in 2021, we joined the Net Zero Asset Manager Initiative. We intend to play our full part in helping our clients channel that capital into those solutions that are going to help us decarbonise. As active managers, we have a real opportunity to understand both the risks and the opportunities faced by the transition to a lower carbon economy. The key levers we have as investors is obviously how we make our investment decisions, how we incorporate climate risk metrics, but also how we focus on those companies that are really going to benefit. Another key lever is engagement or stewardship, looking at how we use our votes and also how we engage with public policy. So we have a high conviction active approach. This means we can deliver on the investment side, but also focus on the real economy impact that we have through the strategies. At Atlantic Omnium, we're an independent Swiss-based asset manager. We've been managing assets for GAM for more than 35 years. So we have developed a very long and trusted relationship. We've launched a strategy in the summer of 2021 that's aimed at investing in green bonds from European financials. Companies are setting more and more ambitious climate targets, aligning their business models to net zero, and therefore green bonds are a very useful tool for them to be able to finance their green activities. We focus on finding issuers that have a clear and credible environmental strategy, which means not just setting net zero targets, but really showcasing how they're going to reach it. And in order to provide investors with robust and unbiased environmental KPIs, we decided to partner with Carbon4 Finance, which is a consultancy, a data provider that specialized in climate and in environmental solutions. And for each green bond that we invest in, they re-estimate the positive environmental impact. As an alternative investment theme, luxury brands resonates quite strongly with sustainability, unlike fast fashion, which has come under some criticism for maybe prioritizing volume over value, the luxury sector is doing the exact opposite. Its ethos really is buy less, buy better. Younger consumers are resonating especially strongly with this, given that they're about to dominate the sector's demand. As such, their preferences are becoming much more important. These consumers are among the most prominent to gravitate towards more sustainable consumption choices, particularly in Asia, where the bulk of emerging middle-class demand is driving the growth for luxury anyway. We find engaging with the companies that we're invested in a particularly useful way to help boost their sustainability credentials. An example of this was Canada Goose, when we discussed with them the importance of transparency in their raw material sourcing. They adopted the responsible down standard, ensuring transparency in down procurement. In addition, Brilliant Earth is an example of a young, innovative company which is using blockchain technology to ensure that its diamonds are classified as beyond conflict-free, which is of course a key attribute that younger consumers choosing their engagement rings are prioritizing. 
Our plans for the future include making sure that GAM is a leader in diversity and inclusion. We steadfastly believe that if we continue to think beyond the obvious for our clients, keep pushing for positive societal change and keep driving towards a greener economy, our clients' financial future will be better protected.